Ah, uh, how's it going, Radical viewers? Grim Getty, right back into it with another Grim Rules Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition session with the Esther Isles Cartography Guild Homebrew with the Avarice Crew, Part Two. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie, my brain's a little fried as all damn near my party members forget why we go to some places and what we're doing, and just make really weird assumptions. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie, that's giving me a headache. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump back into the Discord. I I just find it a little bit racist that none of you are willing to just breathe in the water. There's a difference between being racist and being incapable. You're very capable of being racist, I know that. Since we've taken the break, I've initiated the name change. Oh, you've initiated? Okay, alright. Yeah. Initiate operation name change. Beautiful. <laughs> I just clicked on the Discord and I was wondering why my name was Jeb and I realized I was on the wrong server. What are we going to name this island? Nothing, number two? Or ask them what they want it to be named. I probably already named it. Maybe. No, let's go Christopher Columbus and say this is our land now. We're going to rename it. Ah, I have discovered North America. <laughs> I mean, the bugs are it's big all... enough, it could basically be Florida. It's all the other one is having America. the right PR. Yeah, so this is North America, the other one is South America. Christopher Columbus had great PR for about three or so hundred years. And then we were like, wait a minute, hold on. Oh man, I've already thought of the one for, I'm going to use for Michael. Ooh. You can't tell him that. He doesn't get to know. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, Legion. Huh? Right? What? Hi. Hey. Huh? What? That's what You're I thought. Who does? Now, you can't play this game with me because I'm like the guy <laughs> that makes people answer without <laughs> unmuting themselves. <clears throat> sure. See, the spiders weren't that bad. <laughs> they were horrible. No, they weren't that bad. But that. <laughs> The problem is we're level three again, and we're not used to this. Yeah. I am so strong. Are you guys sure you want to fight these creatures? <laughs> I got a second wind and I can rest. surge back. I mean, well, I, I kind of want to take a long rest before then. I mean... I got yeah, I got five out of six spell slots. We, we, know, got... we know where it is now, so in theory we can literally just long rest. Oh, no. <clears throat> What? We can take him. No, I just realized. Did we ever warn anyone on the ship, like the crew, about the problem with the sirens? No. No. We need to get back. back we now. may not have a ship left, or we may end up sailing it ourselves. Fuck. We need. We need to get back. Right yeah, we now. need to get back. Shit, I forgot about that. I told you, <laughs> you should have just left this island. Well. 
Gwydion's gonna tie a note to Azul, saying, Plug your ears. There's magic fuckery about. And he's gonna make fly to the ship, hopefully in time. Hopefully they're not too drunk to read it. Uh. Um. Michael. No, they're not drunk. They're just drunk. It's fine. <laughs> they're not drunk. They're just drunk. They're fine. They're just drunk. Not drunk. <clears throat> Legion. I... Yeah. If I'm proficient, or if, if I'm amphibious, would you say I'm able to swim well, or am I? Or do I not have a swim speed? You do not have a swim speed. You can just breathe underwater. All just right. Swim a hundred miles. Quicker to swim Ooh, the ship yeah. than it would be to go through the dense forest to the ship. No. No. Because no. you would also have to make constitution checks every hour. Lambert just realized, Dennis, that our crew and doesn't know about the sirens. Speed. All right. So every. Wait. What? How? We didn't Every tell one them. Hex would be two hours. Oh, it would... oh Jesus. Okay, yeah. yeah. So they're dead if we don't get to them before the siren's song does. Hey, well. We may be marooned hey, here for a bit. I'm immune to the siren song because I can't only... drown. That's not true. That doesn't make you immune you to the song, dipstick. That makes you immune to drowning. You do realize that sound passes better underwater than on air? It's, um, so. I was going to say something, too. I completely forgot about it by the time I got there. Was it calling me an idiot? No. We're all calling the bard an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. What was I going to say? Well, oh, yeah, your ship only takes four people to sail. <laughs> so you'll probably be fine. That's um, not comforting. Unless three of us die and we can't recruit anyone on the island. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm I'm gonna go get more water. I mean, I could still sail with just me. Okay. It would just be very dangerous and hard. I got a question. Has anybody have any knowledge or experience playing as a necromancer? Some? Why? Yeah. I'm trying Plenty. to make Plenty. Why do you think I wanted to be a necromancer? <laughs> well, the actual class features with anime dead and all that. I'm trying to make one for a Strahd campaign. Like a Warforged necromancer. Kinky. But people, like uh, what, from what I'm reading, some people are bashing, saying it's completely unviable. Other people are saying it is viable. The skeletons are weak, or the zombies are weak, but in mass, they do enough damage. Some people are saying equip them with armor and weapons, whereas the counter argument to that is they're not proficient with using those weapons, so it's at a disadvantage or something the entire but, time. Wait, but skeletons, skeletons are so would be confused and have. <clears throat> so the idea is that in... short swords and short bows. Right. So Wait, what the are you talking about? Is that you get a bunch of zombies and you have the zombies do grappling and shoving prone, and then you have a bunch of skeletons whose job is it is to actually deal damage, and the zombies are really hard to kill, so they just hold your target down while the skeletons go to town on it. What are you talking about, Willis? Necromancers and how broken they, they still... can be. They still fall prone whenever you... <clears throat> I guess they don't. Because they just don't <clears throat> drop to zero. Yeah. Yep. Weird. What if now, we if, the... if you cast a spell, it takes a minute to resurrect one of them. But then to regain control of them within the 24 hours, I can target up to four. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Right? So you can resurrect the same number you can take control of. What? 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 Animate dead, you can, like, the amount of things you can animate is equal to the amount of things you can keep control of. You can keep well, control yeah. of four. Well, I mean, theoretically, you can resurrect more of them. As long as you have the spell slots. Do that, yeah. but then you lose, you do lose control of them because you won't have the... Right, yes. but again, like, the what, the way the spell reads and what it says, you when you cast a spell, you animate one. But if you use the um, the spell to regain control of them while they're still under your control, you he's can right. target four. Yeah. No, he's right. So each day correct. I can yeah. essentially use up my spell slots to resurrect their army, go to sleep, wake up with my spell slots refreshed, and then just regain control on divided by four. 
Yep. And... Right, and then you still have more spell slots to animate, and then you can regain control. As well. And at higher yes, level, so you can correct. actually do it over more. Uh, two additional undead creatures for yes. each slot above third. I, I, if yeah. I remember the math, uh, you, <laughs> the amount you could have at like freaking some absurd level. God, where did I end on strike? I think I ended at nine. Like you could have a like a literal like oh, small no, platoon no. of undead. And but now, if you give them a bow and arrow, will they be able to use a bow and arrow? Skeletons, the skeletons will, will. zombies will not. Now, why does a skeleton? Yes, is it like a monster? Because it stuff? already. Uh, so the skeleton stab has, intelligence. and zombies do not. Yeah, skeletons so. are able. It, to it's use less to do about how intelligent they are, and how like literally the skeleton monster has a short bow attack. So you can give it a short bow, and you could it uses the short bows. Now imagine yeah, if you like, cover the zombies in pitch, and no. then you light one of them on fire. In universe, See, I was hoping there was like a corpse explosion spell in this game, and I'm disappointed that there isn't. One. I, I mean, you could kind of make one. You could reanimate the dead and explode them. What video game has that? That you can control like Diablo. zombies or whatever. Diablo two. Diablo. I'm not a nerd. Yep. Not Diablo. It's a different game. Diablo two. Come on. One of your action. It's like you can make all your like minions' head explode. It's not oh, Diablo. Diablo. No, oh, Diablo. Diablo. <laughs> no, Shadow of Mordor, dipshits. Thank you. Yeah, Diablo. Diablo. Hmm. Yes, we Diablo. see you, Matthew. You're bright orange now. I think it's red. No, that's like Corolla orange. It looks red. Could be blue. Oh my god, fuck you. So are we just gonna start <laughs> without Matthew? I think he's taking a while. Yeah. I guess. Uh, so the plan is to walk back. Sprint so I did roll for back. random encounters. My macaw is going ahead of me. Yeah, the macaw has a note tied to it. Yeah, I, I kind of assumed that you just kind of sent them out while you were taking the short rest. Mm. That's fine. Yeah. <clears throat> Because I'm not mean. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so you do make it back to town without suffering any ambush. Uh, you do. Um, the, like the hunter just kind of like um, takes the book and just kind of writes in it. If you intend on buying the sirens or not sirens, the singers, shush. Mm-hmm. The centers. Um, good luck. <clears throat> right, so. <clears throat> Let's go ahead, take a long rest on the boat, and when we wake up, set sail and kill some fucking sirens. <laughs> Sound like a plan? All the sailors need earplugs, right? We did that, we do that. Uh, do you want to rest on the ship or on the in the village? <laughs> the ship. Okay. Ship. Uh, you you ding back to the ship. You get on board. Um, you notice that there are the, the, all the people here do have um, something stuffed in their ears, one thing or another, <clears> just, you know, oh, some yeah. torn cloth or something. Dakar kind of goes towards you. I, I um. Got your... I, I uh, got your message. <clears throat> Thank God. Is there any reason for this? A curse or something. Some sort of monster that drags a people what? I fucking grab monster. a piece of parser. I write down monsters that sing, <clears throat> charms people into drowning. I just hold it up to him. <clears throat> Oh, 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 oh. In the back, Woody is pointing to an illusory, like, lit up sign that says mobster above his head. <laughs> this is a big neon sign behind you. <laughs> what letters is flickering, not quite on? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I love us. Uh, that sounds bad. I just mouth very exaggeratingly, no shit. <laughs> are, we, are we gonna be alright? I shrug. 
And then I just go back downstairs and go to sleep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you guys... You guys go down for a long rest. Oh, thank God. I would like... Everyone... To make me wisdom saving throws with... With what? I heard with. Advantage. I rolled Ooh. an 11 with advantage. Did we keep our, our earplugs in? That's why we have advantage. Oh, I hate this. I have advantage. Oh, okay. Lambert and Liliana are dead. Possibly. <coughs> wow, Liliana is not wise. That car rolls a natural 20. God damn. I'm proud of him. He just slept through it because he was drunk. All right, as you guys are, oh, boy. All right, where 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 is everybody sleeping? Go to go to sleeping position. Where is Mabel's me? Sleeping there is me. Or I think maybe he would. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to say this is my bed. I claimed it already. Um, well, they're they're bunk beds. I give a fuck. Matthew. Matthew. Matthew okay. for us. What are you saying? Matthew's HP is down. We had a full rest. Hopefully. You haven't had a full rest yet. Oh, motherfucker. Yep. Uh, so you, you... As you guys are sleeping, you notice some rustling as Liliana wakes up. The singing, you can just kind of just barely hear with the earplugs on, but it just it grabs on to your psyche and it's all you can think about. Cool. Oh, that's so cool because uh, you are charmed for one. Um, you are incapacitated, so you can't use your action or reaction, but you can move. Hell yeah. Oh, look at that. Th this, this is a rule that specifically... It, it it doesn't say you can you can move in spite of it like it literally that is the way they intended it. Okay. So I can cool. move, but I can't do anything else. Yes. Um. The you can take the dash action on your turn to move toward the harpy or sorry the uh, singer. <laughs> sorry, what do you say? Har. har so, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Very hard uh, in, fight. by the most direct route. <coughs> Through He's the just wall. Gonna be running into wood. <laughs> so I mean, would I have common sense to know to like go upstairs, or am I trying to like bounce yes, into the wall? Yes, you would. Yes, you would. You would have. And that is the most direct route. Okay. So, so just, no. as you are moving, especially like up this staircase. Well, I, I don't think he was going to notice you. Uh, but let's say, like, you, you bump into this chair, and it kind of wakes up Gwydion, Leora, and Dakar. He's too uh, you are... You guys notice that Liliana... Wait, it sorry, just kinda... question. They're gonna hear me bump into the chair with the earwax in them? Fuck you. Well, really? Like, are you trying to die? I was affecting you at all is because I'm you trying to make fair... And immersive, all right. You're a piece of you shit. Guys have the reason you can still be affected by the song is because you can still hear. Why do you want to die? <laughs> I mean, he's right. You can still we're, hear. Uh, Michael, so we are still roll, hearing things, which is what we would we roll a like disadvantage perception. Uh, you're not actively listening for people waking up and moving chairs, so it'd be passive perception. Which is um, seven right now for you have disadvantage. You have disadvantage because I would say, wow, okay, yeah, Leora is just perceptive enough. Thank God. So what do I see? Is it Liliana walking in a trance or is it Liliana walking? Yes. Uh, you see her walking in kind of just a kind of just like not even like looking where she's going. It's more of like a 
if it looks like she is n not going some like <laughs> she's not actively she is not going somewhere that she feels like going it looks like she's being pulled somewhere almost you know what i mean <coughs> okay uh i jump out of bed i yell loudly <coughs> everyone help and then i run to tackle liliana to the ground i don't know if that'd be a grapple oh, that would be a grapple yeah so um leora <laughs> and liliana i want you to make me acrobatics or athletics checks against each other So far, I like this. Fire. Why am I not finding it? There it is. Okay. <laughs> you do manage to just pin her to the ground and just, you know, you, you get her, you get her gut. I'm just yelling, help. Does anyone wake up? I mean, if you're yelling, I'm pretty sure we do. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Liliana? Go ahead and roll me another wisdom saving throw. Advantage? With it with advantage, yeah. Oh my god, you dumb idiot. <laughs> oh, there we go. And suddenly, as soon as you're tackled, you're just like, hold on a second. What how did I where did how What are you doing, Leora? Oh god! <laughs> Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> okay, George Sakai. <laughs> what were you just doing? I must have dozed off. How did I get here? You were walking in a trance. I like look at her ear to see if the plugs are in enough. I like hit him a little bit. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <clears throat> Rough stuff is only after the third date. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> God. You need to go back to bed. Should I? Last time I went to bed, I woke <clears throat> up here. Maybe I can be trusted to be in bed alone. Oh, okay, God. fine. I pull out the rope. <laughs> <laughs> That's after the fourth date. <laughs> <laughs> hi -yo. That's second date. What you're talking about? Yeah, That's just thing. a picture you send while on Tinder. I don't have any. I don't have any rope. Not sure I like this. <laughs> I'm not. I just want to tie her down to the bed. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Gerald's game. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Does Liliana have? Do I have rope? Does she? Our fussy handcuffs. I mean, I have a burglar's pack. I'm assuming there's rope in there. Apparently, and this pack doesn't have rope. How much of a commotion are you making? I'm yelling at her. Oh yeah, I mean he he actively yelled. So. Yeah, I think we're all awake now. Yeah, you you're all awake. I get up, walk over, while fishing through my damn pack, get over here, produce rope. Tie up Leliana, and then go back to bed. Um, I, I um, I might be able to um make her go to go to sleep as well. Oh, jeez! If you think that'll help. <laughs> oh, right. How rough are you gonna get, Bill Cosby? We're just, um, I'm just ignoring Leliana. I mean, I mean, you know, I. It'll be hard for her to, to wake up. It's Bill Cosby. You know, to, to move if she's... I don't think we need your help. Good night, Decker. I need you to explicitly say what you're going to do, so it doesn't sound as weird. <laughs> uh, um, oh, uh, sorry. Oh, oh, God. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Not my type. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Not a single scale on her. Like, yeah. Um, fair, fair. Gross. Uh, yeah, just breathe. Just breathe on her. 
What? Oh, he's oh, a bronze magic. dragonborn. Magic. He's a bronze magic. Breathe. breathe, breathe. Do you breathe? So he's a bronze dragonborn, and they do cool things, I think. Do your magic breath thing, that's fine. What are you all doing? Just go, I, I, just go to bed. Just go to bed. I'd, I'd, I'd stand back a bit, <laughs> just in case. Tara, okay, just go to sleep. I'm I'm confused as to why you're tying Laliana up. Yes, that happens at your age. Just go to bed. God. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Leora, I know you didn't like her initially, but this seems a bit drastic. She 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 woke up in a trance, and she needs we can't trust her to stay asleep throughout the night, so we need to tie her down. And yet, all I know is I got woken up being on the bottom of Leora, and now I'm being tied up. Well, that sounds like what happens to most people who cross me. Interesting. Good God. Leora, I, I don't really know what to think here. This seems odd to me. <laughs> it's fine. <clears throat> Listen, I think I can manage. I you didn't manage bed. earlier, did you? Maybe I didn't put enough earwax in my ears. Give me some oh. more earwax. I'll clog my ears. And I'll go take a nap nap. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go and get like a candle. Why are we pulling out those toys? Why are we getting the hot wax for Liliana? She's just into that. Okay. <laughs> the wrong kind of wax. Get some more shield wax and heat it up this time, and then give it to Liliana to put it in her ears so it fits her ear better. I do that. Now, make sure this gets in there and push on it. If you can come and still hear, then what? it's not a good fit. God damn it! <laughs> All I hear is... Like, like this. Wouldn't you be able to hear yourself humming no matter what, because it's coming from inside your own um, self? Oh, no, now, you, if... now you can be helpful. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think <sighs> I got it. <clears throat> All right. So this is about the the song thing, isn't it? I'm beginning like to I wonder. Knew someone named Song at some point. <clears throat> I didn't realize you changed your name. <laughs> Turns out the real friends was the humming we made along the way. I'm going to murder Song. Someone, I swear to God. <laughs> so should somebody just stay up all night then and make sure that no one wanders off the ship? That may be a good idea to take watch. <clears throat> I'm going to bed. I'll take the first watch. God no, damn I think no. You're the one who doesn't need to take the watch. Um, I like to watch. Oh God. Gordian's gonna walk up. Walk up on on deck. I believe that we should take watches in pairs so that somebody possibly doesn't wander off without everyone knowing. It's... no, it's fine. I'm resistant to magical effects anyways. I don't think... I don't think this will be too bad. Cleora, well, I think that's a great idea. We should use something like a, uh, a body system. Ooh. Exactly. You two should tie yourselves together and take first watch. I'm unsure why 
the rope is still involved. <laughs> you just got a broaden your horizons. Well, if you get enchanted, Gwydion has no way of possibly restraining you based on his small frame. I just realized I can take out the earwax. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where you're going to. <laughs> yeah. Gwydion's gonna do that, realizing it's absolutely pointless. Alright. Well. I suppose I'll take watch with Gwydion then, and break up next watch in a few hours. I can stay up, it's fine. I mean... Oh, did you come you back know, up the stairs? Pulled many an all-nighter in my day. Yeah, sure. Very good. I'll take. You won't get your watch. spell slots back if you. I am only missing one spell slot. Well, if we're taking watches, when we sleep, like instead Arcane of like recovery. ten hours, it'd be like eight hours. It'd be ten hours. Isn't arcane recovery once a day? Um, <laughs> I, yes, I used. I have used a total of three spell slots today. I recovered two. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I had to right. think back and count. I used Silent Image to save uh, Lucian. Then I used Levitate on Big Wasp. Then I used It Insinuation on the Adder Cap. <laughs> right, and Mage uh, Armor as well. So technically I should be missing... Uh, I should have four spell slots then. It's fine. You'll get them back. It's all good. Michael, isn't the whole idea with watches is that it's not like eight hours the party sleeps. It's like 10 or 12 because they take... Hasn't it always been that way? Like, we didn't explicitly say it, but it was implied. It's a little longer, but not that much longer. Like, an hour and a half longer, probably? Yeah. Okay, because you were saying we wouldn't get a full rest if he <coughs> was on watch. I'm saying that he wouldn't have, but apparently it doesn't matter for him. Well, I mean, <coughs> it, it doesn't hurt if we do watches anyways. Yeah, Lambert and I will take second shift. Like, it doesn't take away from any of the characters mechanically at least and Lucian and Liliana can take third oh. how many people are eating chips right now I have pizza earlier. I'm not eating chips I'm eating the flesh of the unworthy so that's I am also eating the flesh of the unworthy What's up, Beautiful. Kinky. It's a cucumber. <coughs> it's bacon snacks. It's beef jerky. What's wrong with you? I'll be right back. Just gonna wash my hands. God gave you a tongue for a reason. So, clean. Woody will take first watch with somebody. <coughs> with Oz Hailaroa. Alright. May as well do it on above deck, just in case someone, everyone has to go upstairs. <coughs> just in case Liliana goes upstairs. I can. Are you guys going to tie yourselves together? Like we are <coughs> suggesting? Why? Was that the thing? Stop. So, specifically, so that if Eteoroa gets confused, Gwydion has a chance to stop him. Yeah. Just slap him across the face. I've got like, ideas. Like 80 pounds. <coughs> Anywho. Gwydion, do you want to tie each other together? As um, they mentioned. No, it's because... for my protection, I guess. Well, if you get charmed and drop into the ocean, then I'm going to sink with you and drown, so... I have other ways of pulling you up. It's fine. Alright. This is a good game. I, I like this game. Close. At least I can't drown. <laughs> you can still suffocate. Yeah, but I can't drown. Yeah, you know, those types of go to other methods. Yeah. Unless I kill them. So, so, yeah, you can't kill them if you're charmed. Where do you but, mean? you know, I make a statement What's up, once you? in a while. Perhaps. We'll see. What, what school do you come from? I came from the Mar Magistora Marcana. It's on the mainland, it's on Maryland. He came from Evocation School. Oh, that's the island I'm from, yeah? Yes! 
Maryland. Maryland. <laughs> of course, he disappears. <coughs> Something probably happens. Come back. And that's spelled uh, M A R Y L A N D. M A E R L A N D. Sure. A good one. I'm back. What happened? Sorry. My fucking. Anyways. The ship well, sank. That's the story of how I became uh, a smith. Awesome. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, something was going on in the living room, but. Anyways. I'm from the Magic Storm Arcana in Maryland. That's where I was raised. And how long did you study there? Well, I'm still in the midst of studying there. It's only been about a year or so. This is sort of, um. <laughs> I guess an internship part of what I'm trying to do. <clears throat> I see. I, uh, you seem to have come a, a long way in a short amount of time. Well, this always was sort of my speciality, I suppose. Maybe you could say I was particularly adept or talented at magic. But a lot of it has to do with passion. I've just sort of dedicated myself to this. And it's gotten me far. There isn't much else I do besides studying history. And the other magic. Hard work and perseverance, you say? Something like that. Mm -hmm. A whole lot of loans. I, I can appreciate the work. Hmm. Loans? I, I, yes, school must be expensive. A bit. Not as expensive as a seafaring vessel, as it turns out. Debts, debts come and go. I don't expect it'll stay very long. We've been making quite a bit of coin. We have, uh, it turns out. Well, I always imagined that adventuring paid off, but, uh, <coughs> well, we're certainly making more than I would have thought so early. Hmm. You've been around a while, so... Oh, yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> suppose you know a thing or two about hard work, then. Well, he built this furnace on this ship when I wasn't looking. Well, you see, uh, um, I tend to always be working. It's not something I, you ever stop. Well, they say if you enjoy what you do for work, you have never have to work a day in your life. I don't know if that holds up. Who, who says that? Find. I've I have have plenty of blisters on my hand from doing what I love. I don't know. They, that sort of, <laughs> that concept, the perpetual they, they say things. People listen to what they say. I don't know who it is. Maybe some council of people who say things. The council of they. I'm not very familiar with council of people who talk. <laughs> mm. I haven't gotten into politics, really. But maybe one day. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Right. Chancellor like... Captain Winnie and Blue Eyes. I'm well, Captain, Council. perhaps it's time to wake the next crew. <laughs> yeah. Emperor Gwinnie and Blue Eyes. <laughs> it just gets worse and worse. <laughs> I'm ready to take my royal nap. Okay. Yeah, you guys, um, finish your long rest and, um, begin, well, yeah, I mean, everyone seems to be there, even the crew, uh, with the earwax, um, not, you know, you know, with, with ears waxed, um, have managed to not jump off the ship yet, which is That's nice. Good. I'm proud of uh, them. When, when you wake up in the morning, uh, everyone seems to be there and kind of just like i don't really know why we're wearing these but you know it's all good you know like one crew member goes to the other did you hear singing last night 
I'm just talking about, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, what is the plan for today? Go to the cave. Go to the cave of wonders. I think it makes sense to use the sunrise to get closer. Yeah. And then dingy. Over. And then to dingy over. Yeah. Think, okay. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. We're gonna we'll have to go slowly focus. through the rocks, of course. Yeah, going through the first time, you just backtrack, basically. We blasted the shit That's out of the earlier. Yeah. Um, you get up <coughs> close to the to the cave. Uh, you guys don't see any movement from the cave presently. Is this okay. underwater? Oh yeah. Right. Mage armor. Oh. Then, how do we expect to go under this? I cannot breathe underwater. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a bit of an sea. issue for you guys, isn't it? it it's I, not. I can like sink very super well. Far under the water. How do you long can you scout it out? can't swim. If, if you yeah, need me to scout it, it, it out, can't breathe chat. underwater. Like, how oh, yeah. the fuck are we supposed to? go underwater and do something that sounds sketchy. if you need me to check if the cave opens into a more breathable area i i can do that breathe sounds fine with me do we need to do something involving and they should be asleep right now. Do, <coughs> sorry what do we also need to do something involving rope i feel like that's a, a I rope. why do we keep coming back to quiet. rope why I don't know. Mention, why do why we keep going back to rope? Why do you keep mentioning rope, Gwydion? You know, t just tie a rope to me, and if I tug on it twice, pull me back before I die. Perfect. Was this, was this something that they taught you in school? Did we have enough rope. I love how yeah, actually, the largest, like burliest member of our party is also the only one that can breathe underwater, who we're sending to scout <coughs> underwater, who tells us to tug on a rope to pull them out, knowing damn well maybe only two of us might even succeed at that together. Okay. Fine. So we're going to tie a bunch of rope to Lucian. Fine. And we'll have some people get on a dinghy, including Lucian. Then he can dive under and uh, let us know if it's safe. Does our anchor have one of those um, hoists, pulley setups where you got like, um, it's got like a, a wooden piece that comes off with wooden dowels on it that you spin it around and it lowers or rises the anchor? This bit right here is the mechanism that lowers or raises the anchor. So yes. Fuck yeah, yeah. Let's wrap a rope around that, and then Ooh, if Lucian fun. has an issue, we just like jam that thing back up, and mechanical advantage, we win. That's that that stupidly works. brilliant. Yeah, I like it. I mean, worst case scenario, he tugs on the rope, we drop anchor, and he literally gets beaten the shit out of and possibly ripped to shreds as he's being dragged out through the cave. Bumping yeah, anchor to Gwydion and stun him. <laughs> well, worst case scenario, worst case scenario is actually perhaps an elder god coming and smashing the ship to pieces. But realistically, well, there were the chances of that happening. Right, worst case much scenario, lower than Lucian getting doing. ripped to shreds. <laughs> I'm unsure that's how the gods work. They typically don't manifest on this plane. Hey, <laughs> nothing's impossible. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've never. That doesn't happen ever in the history. Jordan oh. Peele sweating. Dot gif. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> All right, boys, let's do it. All right, what? Lucien. So you said two poles, and then two we pumps. we tug you back up. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we set anchor. I'm assuming, and then using the dealy bob, we wrap it around so Lucian's easier to retrieve. Because <laughs> okay. he's about the same weight as an anchor, I assume. Uh, I am approximately 310 pounds. So yeah, about the roughly yeah. the same weight really as like an anchor. A small anchor <laughs> for a large ship. So, <laughs> Lucian. Yep. You dive beneath the water. You're able to breathe normally, so you you know, this is not that bad for you. Right. It is dark, though. Okay. Uh, you're going through... 
as you're swimming, you can like barely see, mostly just above you. There's a little cave in like a rock face. Like stick to a wall and try to feel it out. Well, there is no wall where you're at, but you you, you know where you're going, so yeah. you, okay. you you head there until eventually you you reach the cave. And it's darker and darker still, and you're generally just unable to just unable to um, just to see your surroundings. Right. However, um. I mean, you estimate you're probably 30 feet into the cave okay. and you come out on top still not being able to see but still being able to um, don't, it, it, you find that there's air. There's a little pocket of air underneath here um, where you're where you assume that everyone else will be able to breathe. Um, I, like it's it's dry. It's not. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it, there's still like a lot of water, and you're still kind of splashing. Make me a stealth check. Uh, yes, I will. Thirteen. Yeah, okay. yeah, you're fine. Okay. You hear like the faintest. Just the breathing, as if sleeping. Based on that noise, and this is going to be a difficult challenge, but could I get a rough estimate of how many things we're dealing with? Make me a perception check. All right. It's an 11. No. Not quite. Okay. It seems I'll to swim be more than now. one. It does seem to be more than one. Yeah. Okay. I will swim back now. Okay. You swim back. You get on board the dinghy once more. All right, so there is a there's breathable air approximately thirty feet in. The only problem is, of course, it's dark, and I don't believe we have lights that aren't fire based. Um, definitely more than one creature in there. Whoopsies! I'm not sure how long all of us can hold our breath for. Gordian, don't you have light? I've got a lantern. But that's oh, fire so many that's unique challenges presented by not having light. No, I don't have that one, but I'm realizing now that I'm just out. But I'm probably going to grab it at the next opportunity I have. There's a lot of things Do I Any of our other spellcasters have light available to, at their fingertips? I'm a pure machine of destruction. I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Which case, I think the best we can do is bring a hooded lantern along with us and light it up once we get inside the cave. Regretfully, I think that's the best we got. Someone with the still will have to be our eyes. I can function as your eyes in the dark. Um, just there, I was wait. able to navigate fairly well. Do we have any sorts of um, burnable tinder? Yes, oh, like a quite box? a bit, actually. We could burn that in a cave and try and smoke right, them out. So... <laughs> I don't think that's gone very well for us any other It'll time. It'll be soaked if you swim with it. We have to find a way to keep it dry. Um, we... a, um, a, let's a not, Roa, let's go ahead and not overcomplicate something again. <laughs> I'm going to overcomplicate it immediately. <laughs> We need to fight them in the cave because that's where we can breathe. Water battle, we can't fight them. I can, don't want them out of the cave. I can magically light fires, but that can only happen once we're out of the water. So we just need to bring hooded lanterns with us so that we can light them inside of the cave because oil still burns even when it's wet. Oil we have wet. quite a bit of oil. Last we were in port, I I purchased how many? <laughs> Eighteen flasks of oil. Well, oh, damn. this is true. All right. That that did happen. What <laughs> what if we create a wall of fire? Um, throw wood through it red. and then burn them to death. Yeah, why don't oh, we burn the fish people to death? <laughs> 
I tried lighting those stupid <laughs> oaks on fire and didn't have much success with that. But if it's an air pocket, and that means that it needs oxygen to burn the fire, and if it only has a finite amount, they could just suffocate. They can definitely breathe underwater. They'd have to run through the fire, is what I'm saying. So they're going to have to choose to run through the fire, which then will be on the other side and go stab stab. Can anyone here create a wall of fire? <sighs> nope. That's why we use the flask as oil, and then bring tinder that we just have to keep dry with, like, a cloak or something. That's, nah, that's not going to work. I, I worry about us being able to breathe if we're consuming all the oxygen down there with fire. The really amount of breathe, tinder we would need in order to burn up all of the oxygen would be a lot. I say we just have Lucian guide us to the next available air pocket and then we try and get the cave and see where that takes us. Thank you. I think that is a good idea. It's an idea. Could get, us, the could, get, could get half of us killed. But I will be only half. At least it's not giant only spiders half. or wasps or bees or god knows what else is on this bloody island. Yeah, wasps can't swim. Thank I god. Really look you mean? No. So all I things think. considered. I bet these creatures look like centipedes. Sorry, right, boys, let's do it. Imagine they do. I swear to god, they're giant, like, aquatic centipedes. I'm gonna shit a brick. I hate centipedes. Let's go! Oops. You fuck. Uh, so you, yeah, you go through the, the water once more, and you go through the same air pocket. Um, helped by the few of you that do have dark vision, you do manage to find the air pocket again. Now I've opened this up for everyone. Now, before we go down here, everybody make sure your earwax is in. Your shield wax. Yes. yes. Earwax. I accidentally drew something. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to. Ah! <laughs> Uh, that's uh, unfortunate. Filthy Pinterest. What are you guys talking about? Anyways. Pinterest. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just by myself in this map. That's yeah. because you can't see. You can't by it's because you can't see. You should yeah. uh, light up a lantern. Probably. Can, can we light up a lantern now? Who has who has the lantern? I believe I have a hooded lantern. You have the hooded lantern. Yeah. That is sixty. Uh, I believe immediately it's get ready. Thirty thirty. So yeah. So sixty. It would be sixty thirty. Sorry. Just because it's. Oh yeah 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 I, yeah. The yeah, way yeah, that it works 20. in roll twenty, it would be yeah. sixty yeah. thirty. Don't ah! make green. <coughs> I'm. As soon as it lights up, I'm going to cast a spell. What spell are you casting? I'm going to cast Silence on the island. Ooh. Yes. Clutch. Yes. Uh, okay. Great. Fuck the caster. What? What's it's happening? fine. That's fine. That's you... fine. That's fine. Literally all my spells are vocal and somatic. <laughs> no. What's happening? It's... No, I'm going to cast it. It's a 20-foot radius. Okay, as long as you're kinking on them. We we won't be able to melee, like, spell them, but... <laughs> well, I, I don't have them. melee spells, thankfully. <laughs> uh, yeah. melee spells. So, basically... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But is there light yet? Because I can't see any of it. That's uh, there, so there crush, Nathan. I, as soon as I was looking at my oh, spells, here. I saw that, and I thought, this would be perfect. There. Oh! They just stay in that area, and we're golden. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna grapple yeah. the shit out of them. And Leora caught cast Silent. <laughs> She's going to cast it. I think I really like this spot right here. I can't ping right now. But yeah, yeah. yeah. It gets all of them within the sphere. Oh, yeah. And now they can't hear anything. Very nice. Yeah. Exactly. 
Yeah, we can get closer, huh? It's not perfect yeah, yeah, because yeah. they might wake up from the lights, but... Well, they're gonna wake up when we start killing one of them. Not, not if they can't down. hear anything. Not if they no. can't hear. No, I mean the one we're killing. It's but... gonna wake up because we're killing Oh, yeah, it. and that one. But hopefully it'll also, be dead. there's one down here. <laughs> not in this I told you guys, I'm a pure killing machine. Dang. Did you make an assassin bard? <laughs> no. Really? Because so you're coming ready. off as very assassiny for a bard. No, Leo would never assassinate anybody. Why yeah. do I not believe you? As we surface and it's really quiet, <laughs> Oteo Roa is going to take some powdered silver and That's kind of dust it right. onto Leo's shoulders. Yeah, he's going to cast protection from evil and good. What is why nice. what's going on? Well, this is a blessing of the forge. Hopefully, oh. it'll help you in the fight. Okay, thank you. She's mostly just confused why she's covered in silver dust now. <laughs> so it was very handy. <clears throat> so this well? should prevent you from oh. being charmed. Technically Sorry. speaking, uh, that only works if the person trying to charm them is an aberration celestial elemental fae, fiend, or undead. Huh. I'm banking that they're one of those. Gotcha. I just wanted to make sure that you were banking. Yeah, I read that. On. Yep. Okay. I have no idea what they are, and Otel Roa would Oh, yeah, absolutely. They're evil. Look pretty fiendish to me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Women, some... right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh. Hey, I'm, I'm, so I'm, just a a I'm married. <laughs> With a child. Not yet. Not yet. Working on it. <laughs> You're not doing I'm working on it. Um, you know, All right, are we... every once in a while. <clears throat> Shall we begin? Much yeah. like a seahorse, every once in a while you just take care of it. Anywho. Just like a seahorse. Uh, what are we doing? Murdering uh, innocent who? sirens? I guess we're, we're All right, you know, up. I'm just going to go ahead and... Humor me. Aha! Yes! Oh, oh not yes! this nice. again. Oh, <laughs> What? Yes! Come on. More. <laughs> yes. Can anyone get above a 10? No one get above 10. No one get above 10. Beautiful. What the yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. is this? Did we <laughs> all become try. Nathan? Damn there it. we go. Oh, Nathan, of course, is the one that rolls above 10 for once. <laughs> y'all are trash. Loser. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Sirens don't like it anyways. It's this fine. is what happens when we can on Tuesday. Apparently. <laughs> Siliora. Yes. <coughs> Usually I have time to think. <laughs> um, well, ain't that a bitch? I'm just going to walk up to this person and I'm going to stab them with my rapier. I guess the question at that point is are yes. they prone? Uh, more than that, they're yeah. I mean, they're prone. They're incapacitated. You do. If they're a, if they're un are they unconscious? Because you are un they are unconscious. That's so that a crit? Crit? <laughs> Yeah. This is why assassins that can make people go to sleep are OP. Sleep spell is pretty good, you know. Huh. Very nice. What do I do for damage since it's an auto crit? Uh, just roll the damage. Just roll, uh, roll D8. D8. Okay, that does hit, surprisingly. After that, I walk back this way. Um, is this ring, the gray ring is land, and then the blue is water? How deep is all of that water? Uh, the water here, you're able to walk in. It's like about waist level, probably difficult terrain, actually. Now that I think about it, so Leora, you probably, like, could not do that. Oh. So, like, you, you, were, you were here, right? Something like that? So 10, 20, 
and then 30, so I would end up here. Uh, as you're walking away, she will try to get an attack of opportunity off on you. Disadvantage. She, I mean, uh, well, would she not be considered surprised? She would be here. Yeah. I guess mean, she would be. Yeah. Surprised? Technically, yeah. I mean, yeah, she would yeah. be surprised. Man, that's yeah, weird. Sure. Yeah. You don't so get the surprise isn't often. like. So can I walk away? The... Yeah. Okay. Surprise. Stab. <laughs> Stab. Surprise. Surprise mechanics. Stab. Perhaps yeah. refocus our fire on the one that's awake. Liliana. <clears throat> um, I'm going to bonus action insightful fighting on this one. Okay. This song ever end? No, it's, it's like an hour. I believe I have it muted. Here. She has failed, so you do get the insightful fighting. Awesome sauce. And I will fire a short bow at. Nope. Alright. I will. Emotion. Alright, Lucian. <clears throat> All right, so that would be 10, 20, and then 25. Okay. Like to throw my net onto the siren. Okay. I uh, believe... So I assume that is with advantage because she is surprised. Uh, she's not surprised anymore because her turn ended. Okay. Is she, pr well, would she be prone because she was sleeping? Uh, no, because technically she is still, she has fish legs. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? No. I mean, I do, is she but. on the ground because. Well, she's always on the ground. It's the thing. Is she immune to the prone condition, I guess? It's, yes. The way that she walks, so she, she can't be uh, prone well. that way. Anyway, so 11 is a miss? Uh, 11 just hits. Okay. Uh -oh. And then she doesn't take damage yet, but she is restrained by the net. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, bonus action, brace up, and get ready for my next turn. Yep. All right. Q. <laughs> uh, well... So water's difficult terrain. The, yeah, this water is. This one is about thirty feet, like twenty to thirty feet deep. Yeah. But like this area around here is like waist level. I get to here. Um... <laughs> and this one is awake. Is that correct? Yeah, this one is. Yeah. Well, we're gonna take out a hammer. I'm sorry, Mesh. <laughs> and black hammer. <laughs> how, okay. how how did this mermaid look before? What do you mean? How how are they doing? Uh, she's doing good. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna pump some divine smite into that. She's no longer doing fine. I imagine. 15 plus 19? That's like 34? Yeah, good job. <laughs> yeah, that one does it. Nice. Oops. Hmm. Wow, we're just gonna beat them to death one by one. Oh I'm okay God. with this. Right. After all the bullshit we went through, I'm okay with this. <laughs> and then I have enough movement i think to get to there so land it lambert oh dear sweet god i actually have enough movement to get to this one that's hilarious who is i imagine still asleep because silence is a thing yeah this is gonna probably not hurt as much as i wish it would but fuck it that's still 17 for eight damage yeah and because that does she's asleep hit. i gotta roll another one because sleep. Yeah. That's a D10, right? On two-handed? It's been a while. Yeah. Yeah, D10, D10. <laughs>
Nah, eh, 11. I'll take it. Okay. You definitely get a good, uh, good shot off. I'll take it, and I'll just be here now. Okay. Gwydion? Uh, let's illuminate this place a little bit more. Yeah, I figure there's another one back there. Um, I'm going to toll the dead, the one that Lambert just attacked, make a wisdom save. That awkward moment where the only thing she can hear is the sound of death. Oh, wait. Without... Yeah, I they... think it that... still works Actually, somehow. Let me look at that spell description before I decide to cast it, because... Right? That's a weird one. Um, The sound of a Dolores... Okay, well, never mind. I'll cast Ray of Frost. Okay. Yeah, let's not fuck myself here. Uh, Ray of Frost on her. 24. Ooh, baby! <laughs> Max damage. <laughs> Alright, two whole damage. That's my turn. Alright, Leora. Um, is this area still difficult terrain? Uh, the, the gray parts? Is, that's just stone. This is half and half, I'm asking. No, I mean, if you're moving off of it towards more stone, you're fine. Okay. So I'm going to move here. And I'm going to shoot my light crossbow wow. at this person. Okay. That does hit. <laughs> That uh, that is, but you actually have disadvantage because she's no because she's yeah, immune to prone. She can't be prone. <laughs> she can't be prone. <laughs> oh, all of a sudden it works one way. Prone. You'll no. get both. No, like it's just my. Like, you think I remember? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I can barely like read a stat block. I don't think it's not on current anymore. Oh, because no, nah, she's awake after I hit her. Yeah, this one. Oh, that one. Well, are you shooting that one? Oh, yes. Unco oh, Unconscious oh, is only auto crit oh, that you may like. I pinged it on purpose. I said I'm shooting this one. Yeah. Uh, not a crit, but okay. it still did 10 damage. Why are you doing that? Oh, fuck. Oh, they're still surprised. They can't do anything. Yeah, the it's sirens fine. are both surprised. Well, yeah. uh, it's fine. Fuck. Oh, my God. Are you in difficult terrain or regular? You are in difficult terrain. Blue is difficult, I'm gray is normal. I'm just gonna move here. A little closer. Um, and I'm gonna shoot at the one up top here. Okay. Oh wow, you actually have a clear line of sight too. That's Come hilarious. on. That's not gonna hit. Oh, bonus action... Hide. You can't do that right now. I'm about to say, you have nothing to hide in. And just... <laughs> Crouch in the water. <laughs> um, I let my turn. I pee Wait, myself. <laughs> I make water. I make water. Is Lucian's turn? Well, I'm gonna do this fun little thing where I beat a woman to death. Wow. You know. <laughs> what right. the? Uh, yeah, that's not that. <laughs> so first attack is not going to hit. Uh, but I get to hit her with the Beeple's elbow, which is a crit. <laughs> yeah, you know. It's a seven damage. <laughs> <laughs> wicked, crit, wicked, wicked crit, bro. Wicked crit. Good job. Proud of you. Thank you. Uh, and I moved not far, so I'm going to position myself over there. That is my turn. Cute. Right. Uh, well, he's gonna take a step over this way and apologize to this woman, and he's going to hit her with a hammer. Okay. Yeah, that hits. I'm not smiting on this one. Sorry. Okay. That's fine. He's still alive. I guess she's still alive. There only seem to be females, though. I don't know. It's kind of weird. And... That's something that against women, Michael? Uh, 
I don't need know. to do Maybe that wants to do to feed of people who are waiting. No, we're going to move there. You were right. just the one that was talking about beating women to death, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right, Lambert. Swing. 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 Miss! Fuck! Fuck this action surge. Swing again. I will burn through this as many times as it takes. Yeah, that one hits. Okay. Damn. And with that, you just cleave her head straight off. Just... Perfect. And for my movement, since someone decided to wake something... Let's start going over here. And that would be me turn. Okay. Gwydion. Okay. So, this one got woken up, right? Yes. Does this mean this one also woke up? No. No? Okay. Uh... Hmm. Uh, well, the one... The one over here that I'm going to insinuate her id, make a wisdom save. It has a vocal component. Uh, I'm not in silence. The silence uh, radius. That's like here or something. Um, it doesn't say it needs to hear him. And also, the, she wasn't in the silence radius either over here because it's only 20 feet. What? Bro, I put it right. That's in like the center of like the of the, you know, yeah. the radii or like in the corner corner pieces. I didn't. I couldn't. No, no, no. I, she, if if she would have cast it in the center, then it'd be a lot yeah. bigger. Yeah, it you, doesn't matter. I'm sorry. What's the who, who else in the silence radius? Because I can't tell how big it is because there's no marker. I put it right here. No, I mean, no, no, no. It's still, I mean, yeah, you're, you're right. Uh, her id. Her I, id. Either way, I'm not in the radius, so. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah I was just double checking to see if that's how that works. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be a seven. Okay. She's incapacitated. Yeah, yeah, she is, isn't she? I mean, that's, that's not shit. That is not. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll do it. Hold on. We need a circle. I can I do was, it. I was getting there. I'm what forgetting the circle button. Create, create a token alt. with yeah. a radius of oh. 10. Alt is very close to a tree. Yeah. Oh, the, the 20 foot radius? Yeah, the, the radius 20. Yeah, 20 foot radius. Radius 40 foot diameter. You know, I have a DM in Dungeon of the Mad Mage who actually used a token for a rat and just gave it a 20 foot colored radius for an aura then yep, that became a fireball rat <laughs> i'd say i have these extended tools that ha give me like the ruler tool gives me a radius tool a cone tool and everything that's why i'm like super confused there you go whenever people do like radii and stuff this is yeah. it so, like, yeah I no. just drag my I'm the one that made that. yeah but we don't have that so i'm gonna use what i have Ugh. we just need a rat <laughs> uh yeah uh anything else on your turn Gwyn? Nope. I'm. All right, Leora. I'm gonna shoot a bolt at this woman again. Yeah. Okay. That does hit. We are just fucking wiping the floor with these guys. Anything else? Nice change. Yeah, that's all. Sick. All right, she's going to get into the water and dive underneath. Here's how it's been so far. We have combat. She wasn't the one who before. was incapacitated. No, she's incapacitated. No, she's incapacitated. Yeah, but she, right. she can move. Right. We've already said that. Oh, that's really weird. I'm just wondering why Nathan had to shoot the one that was still asleep when we were all focusing on another one. It's good. We're good. It's fine. Don't worry about mm -hmm. it. Make well, another yeah. one safe, Siren Lady. I'm going to... Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. That's a, that's a nine. Eh. Uh, for damn uh, Okay, instead of, uh, instead of fighting the bottom one here? <coughs> uh, you can't see her. Never mind. Yeah, I will attack the, the one up top. Okay. 
That hits. Oh, oh wow, I thought that missed. That is a crit. No, it's not a crit. Never mind, because it's ranged. Ignore me. Okay, that one is now jostled awake. Yes and no. that ends my turn. Okay, Lucian. All right, so it's awake. So the first thing I want to do is grapple it. Okay. Oh, I should be good at this. Why do I keep rolling so bad? Because we're level three. <laughs> she rolls a 17. All right, fine. I'm going to beat away. Hold on, I can do that again, can't I? Oh, yeah, okay, we're going to try again. We're going to try again. It's a 23. This I don't time. believe you can. Uh, I can because of my feature. Yeah, well, there you go. Or grapple is a bonus action. Yes. Uh, that is a 16. Grappled, and that is my turn. Grapple. When you use an attack action with an unarmed strike or a pugilist weapon on your turn, you may make a. So you have to hit. You have to attempt to use an unarmed strike or a pugilist weapon in order to do the grapple as a bonus action. So you you can't do that. As a bonus okay, action. never mind. I yeah. guess I do have to beat a woman. It's it's like tavern brawler. It's very specific. You might about consider it. phrasing. I beat phrasing. the woman and I deal six damage to the woman. That is six. Six These things damage. have genders. Have we brought phrasing back? I mean, you are unsure if they have genders. They all look female to your standards, but I don't know. Man, unless they've been me. alive for a hundred years. <laughs> hey, you should ask them. Oh wait. I, you can't do that in twenty twenty. No, I meant Probably. because he's in a cone of silence. He's in a well, in twenty twenty, the cone of silence was right. Come on. Right. We need to take this to the cone of silence. Well, it's a sphere of silence, which is basically a cone, but everywhere. Cute. I also feel geometry. Uh, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> move to behind yeah, this one. Geometry. Thank you. And is this one prone? No. They're immune to prone. Immune. <laughs> and take the warhammer and. Smack. And hit the ground. <coughs> the ground's right. open. Um, oh, my turn's done. Lambert. How far into the water is this one? Uh, 30 feet down. Not even gonna, dr not even gonna try. Not even gonna try. Nope. That's a death sentence waiting to happen. Uh, oh. It's a good thing Gwydion has some debt. But, what I can do no. is leave... The cone of fuck my spells and cast fuck you spells. Couldn't you have just walked right here? Yeah, but I want to get closer to the one I can actually hit. And since you startled that one awake, I want you to deal with it now. That's fine. <laughs> Firebolt. Son of a bitch. Of all the I'm times for that shit, the crit. I'm in. <laughs> 14 points of fire damage. <laughs> You, <laughs> bitch. You indeed, brother. That's it. That's all I got. That's my movement. And all my right. Action. Gwydion. I'm gonna get here where no one can harm me. So you think? Oh, that's yeah. a bit presumptuous. Super safe. Nope. No one can harm me. I'm gonna cast Ray of Frost at the um, the one between Q okay. and Lucian. Thirteen. Yeah, it is. Five damage of the cold variety. That's yep. three better than two. It's yeah. alright. That's my turn. Leora. Hmm. Huh. How would my crossbow bolt do in 30 feet of water? Not well. It wouldn't. Hmm. It, it, it wouldn't do good. Um, can't um, piercing weapons go? They're like they're First range. Yeah, it's Without their first range at disadvantage. disadvantage. At disadvantage, okay. Yeah, yeah. That sounds familiar. I, I, I have I have those rules up as well. Okay. So I will 
disadvantage shoot this woman. Uh, we start calling it a creature, this is getting unsettling. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's not gonna hit. I mean, it is, it's a woman. It's also, like, you know, it's not a woman because it's a siren, but. You don't know how they identify. We also or how scared. they breed. You don't know if they identify. <laughs> I don't think we right. care because we're kind of murdering them. Right we now. also killed a, uh -oh, like. Oh, God, there goes our silence. <laughs> we killed an innocent, like, scared boy, too. Don't forget. <laughs> Like, no, she can't tell technical. you. Can you just tell me how you identify so I don't like get it wrong? Oh, is she bashing your skeleton? Is she still incapacitated? She's still incapacitated. Yes. Yep. Dang, dude. Well, uh, she's just gonna stay there for a little bit. That's a that is a an eighteen though. Okay. Well, she takes one more damage and is no longer incapacitated. Okay. Uh, this Got one him. is still surprised. Liliana. I will fire another one at the top. Okay. Yep. I mean, you, you get her. Temp HP. Temp HP. And I shall move up here and then my turn. Okay. Lucian? All right. So she is 30 feet in the water and very far away. Uh, second throw. She's too far away for me. Uh, lots of touch spell. Uh, I can't do anything to her, so I'm just gonna kind of. Uh, to exist. Hold my action to grapple this one when this one dies. And that will be my turn. Okay. Q. I don't feel great about this, but the townsfolk seem to be in dire need. Uh, he's going to use his warhammer on this sleeping siren. Uh-huh. That's that's it. That, 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 that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wouldn't have been funny if you just slipped uh, on a rock and just um, I did. <laughs> fell on top of her. I should ask Oh my god. Is yes. this undead or a fiend? No. Okay, but <laughs> a weird. melee attack on an unconscious creature is a crit. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm gonna push this button, and then I need to roll some more dice. Three more d8s. Well, use all the d8s. Really low roll. Nineteen damage. Such a low amount of damage. <laughs> that's like a that's a grim hit. That's a <laughs> Yuck. Anything else? God, yeah, look at all those fucking ones. Yeah. It's like Jesus. you roll every possible one. <laughs> <sighs> Lambert, I believe it might be your turn. Yeah. Firebolt. Fuck it. This has been working. Uh, so far, give or take. Right, it has ups and downs. That's kind of a medium. It does hit, though, so... I'll take it. Then I'm gonna start meandering. You know. Ooh. I love a good meander. Good meandering, yeah. Over here. And that will be my turn. Gwidian. 10, 15, 1. Damn it. Damn it. Um <laughs> I can't speak here. Damn it. I take can, a I, back. can I see the siren from here? Can you? Uh, I don't know. Is she under water, the right? Oh, You're the, the one angle. underneath. Uh, probably angle. not because of the angle. If you come, it'll take you a while, but if you come here, maybe. You're like, from just here. the angle of how down she is is probably going to make it very complicated for you. If you went over here, because you have the whole thing. I'll my action. Uh, when, when she pops out, I'm going to cast Levitate on her. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> oh god, that again? I love it. Well, you are. I'm going to once again try to shoot a crossbow. Okay. Oh, jet. That's normal. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Much better. She is trying. She will pop up. Oh, make a con save. <laughs> what are you talking about? That is a nine. Fuck no. that thing. It's levitating. In the air. <laughs> oh, I was going to say. Levitating. <laughs> We're pulling maneuver B. <laughs> how how high up do you bring her? 20 feet. Up to 20 feet. She rises up to 20 feet and remains suspended there. Does that bring her out of the sphere? Um, yeah. That's true. I'll raise her at 15 feet then. <laughs> Just suspended up there. 20. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Okay. Liliana? I'm going to fire at the one moment. Cool. Which one? You kind of just want, like... Well, yeah. <laughs> which, which one? <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> that one? Okay. That does not hit. <laughs> Lucian. Right. Well, I'm going to stab a fish with my trident. Is that better, Matthew? Yes. Much. <laughs> okay. 22. Oh, she's not quite a fish, Dice though. It does hit, though. It's it half does, half. It does, it's it's kind of like a mermaid, but not. It's an eight. I mean, yeah, I'll save damage. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and give her the Beeple's elbow. That I, does I hit. Nice. And that'll be another six bludgeoning. I forgot about the Beeple Zelda, all right? <laughs> Cute. Uh, you it is forget? your turn. I'm going to uh, take blunt end of the hammer and go for a non fatal blow. Okay. And what? smack her. Sounds like that. And you, you hesitate slightly before you, uh, before you give her the business end of the hammer, and she just. Dodges out of the way adeptly. Okay. Just stares up at you That's with big old true. puppy dog eyes. Lambert. Hey, you know who's immune to puppy dog eyes? Witchers. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I have no reason to want to take this alive. <laughs> They've been drowning people. Exactly. Therefore, hack. Spot for monstrosities that look like beautiful women. Like I said, are we the baddies? I don't know. They're so. not the baddies. We don't have skulls okay. in our caps. For all we know, the these only... eight, these things eat people. I'm actually very planning on searching likely. this layer thoroughly when we're done. That was very likely. Oh, it died. Uh, fuck. What was that? Ten feet? Yeah, they have died. Uh, well, in that case, I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> Get ready to fucking throw a fireball on my next turn. That'll be my turn. Mm -hmm. Gwydion. Look at her go. <laughs> there she goes. There she goes. She's I'm gonna man. fire a ray of frost at her, yeah. Uh, Lift her five feet and then drop her to her death. One hand's holding her up in the air. She's like, tele <laughs> like telekinetically, and the other one's just shooting rays of frost. Her speed's reduced to by 10 feet. Not that that matters, because I am controlling her speed. <laughs> I am controlling <laughs> her hover. I control the speed at which sirens fly. Uh, she's still not, still not dead, though. I'm not quite. Le uh, Leora. So, do I have normal or advantage since she's levitating? You cannot hit her with a melee weapon from where you're standing. No, I'm talking about my crossbow. Normal. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it just being normal. <laughs> it wouldn't be advantage since she's stuck in one spot. No. Uh, they're just still flailing up there. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> flailing the same spot that he's controlling. It doesn't It doesn't give you advantage. It would say in the spell otherwise. I hate it. Yeah. Get over it. You still hit. You still kill it. That was far easier than tarantulas and fucking bees. Yeah, why, why was the main battle easier than bees? Because bees are dicks. Because <laughs> <Because, laughs> the bees weren't sleeping. Oh, you just hit the bees. Yeah, I don't know. You can't make a bee go quiet. 
<laughs> what? What does that even mean? Big brain. Letter B? <laughs> Did I break Michael? A little bit. Hold on. I'm gonna be right back. What that mean? All right, we did it. Easy shit. What's Easiest the... fight, like, ever. <laughs> I don't think anyone got hit. Did anyone get hit? No. no. <laughs> Congrats, now you know how Talon feels for, like, oh, I don't know. Entire months on end. Uh. Uh, easy shit. I feel pretty good it's about that. It's supposed to be the party tank, but nothing ever hits us. Well, the last time you tried to tank, you got swarmed and incapacitated. Someone put me to sleep. <laughs> I don't know who. I'm not naming names, but it happened. Yeah. yeah. Could, it could have been any one of us. It's probably could have been It could have been me. It's probably Gwydion. He does Gwydion so is well. upset that you, you took the captain's chamber from him. He's so upset about that. He's extremely... He's very upset. Yep. Hey, Michael, we're just talking about how upset Gwydion is that he didn't get the captain's chamber, so he, he put Lucy into sleep when we fought the bees. Yeah. Right, that's that what happened. That would be hilarious if that was the reason. <laughs> how about you guys? So but I kind of want to check this place out now because I want to find if... They've been actually eating people. That, I see some shit at the bottom there. there. Yeah, there's that. There's a thing. You do Boop. see... Uh, what is the thing? Oh, stop. Ooh, uh, well... Right about this one. First Ooh. off, you do find a just massive well full of bones. Mm. Yeah, they eat people. Do you feel better now, Azora? <laughs> Those are humanoid bones. Are they, are they humanoid bones? They medicine check. You have no idea. Yeah, they're humanoid bones. <laughs> uh, Find a skull and bring it to me. God. I would believe him. <laughs> you would too. <laughs> In this, uh, there is a hoard of treasure. Ooh. Uh, as well. Oh. Um, in oh, which right. you find the following. Uh, 213 gold pieces. Ah, oh, you bastard. Wait, are you a bastard? Hold on. Hold on. Yes, it needs you to be bastard. divided yeah. by six. <laughs> ah, three of us get 35 and the other three get 36. What's going on? Three of us oh, get the money. 35 and the other get 36. So um, I will take 35. I'll take 36. Now, Q, the rest you might want to keep track of. Uh, 450 golds worth of gems. Uh, two spell scrolls yet to be identified. Ooh. Two potions yet to be identified, but they look like health potions. And a rather ornate scimitar. Hmm. Ooh, a scimitar. Let's identify it. I don't believe that's up to you. <laughs> it's not, but I'm asking very nicely. I come out of the water with 450 gold worth of gems, several scrolls and potions, and this big old scimitar. Mm. Is that a no, Tyler? I'm gonna figure out, I'm gonna look at the list after this and see the order we I want. would... I would take some time to identify these, but it seemed to be at my limits for today. Okay. Uh, and does anyone want to? <laughs> uh, does anyone... So, is anyone else going to look around the <laughs> thing? Um, around the okay cave system? Gwydion will, Gwydion will look around. Okay. Make me an investigation check. Boom. Ooh, That's 21. Me. Okay. Uh, you do notice that one of these sirens held in her hands, even as she was sleeping, a conch shell. 
One that'll take us to the storm giant hole. Probably. Uh, and now it all loops. <laughs> I'm a paladin again. We, we made the joke. <sighs> we did it, boys. There he is. We said the thing. Is this is this place called Red Rocks? Yeah. <laughs> but no, the rocks are very much gray. I'll cast oh, Identify on the conch shell. Actually, I'll cast Detect Magic and see if the conch shell is magic first. Oh, absolutely. I are cast you sure Identify on the conch shell. Are, but so is the scimitar. Uh, as well as the scrolls and the potions. They're probably. Yeah. Well, what's the conch shell do? That'll be what I do first. Um, It is a magic conch. I'm going to send it to you. All hail. If you ask it a question, it gives you the answer. Either a yes or no. <laughs> I see. I see. I'll hold on to that. I see. That's fun. I'm going to pocket that, yeah, and just save it for I later. I also think it's fun. Yes, 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 yes. I see. And also, it makes sense. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Um, anyways, if that's all I can find, then that's all I can find. I can identify everything one by one as we go through the days. Okay, yeah. Um, so, um, is that all? Well, yeah, so, what? Well, what? I mean, you're definitely, you're, you are definitely going to be able to do this. So just keep in mind that you do not know what these are yet, technically, but I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what they are because it'll be easier than the alternative. Does that sound good? Okay. Yes. Uh, two spell scrolls, obviously. One for burning hands and the other from protection. No, sorry. Another is protection from evil and good. Mm -hmm. Two potions of healing and one scimitar plus one. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, plus, plus one weapons. Nice. Um, it was a good roll. Well, that's going to be interesting to divide up. Um, I mean, we know who the scimitar is going to. No. Who wants the potions? Michael can have the scimitar. Huh? Well, I think... Yes, but I do plan on taking a lot of damage, so I could take one. Sure. Okay. I plan on taking a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Eventually, at some point in this campaign, I will take a lot of damage. I want to, but nobody will let me. Yeah, that was my life as Kardash. There were sessions where I would not get hit. Meanwhile, everyone else was at like 10 HP. You're like, ah! I'm like, just get behind me, you fools. I was 300 feet away from everybody. <laughs> oh, that was a fun. That was fun. That was funny. <laughs> and then I said, "No, you can't die." Should we distribute them based off how often people are going to be getting hit, or how um, fragile people are? I mean, if you're really fragile, and you use, you probably won't have time to use one, will you? What if I'm fragile? Gonna... A potion will um, make up a greater amount of my total health than. So true. Do you have weak bones, Gwydion? True, yes. If you're fragile and you go down with a potion, well, that's one less potion we can use to heal you immediately. Sure. I Yeah. I thought you were allergic to healing potions. Uh, no. No, I'm not. Just a... Who the devil's <laughs> allergic to healing potions? That's dumb. Oh, God. I mean, granted, oh, whoever wants a healing potion can take them. Michael, do we know what allergens are at this time? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Q? I'd say Q holds on to this then until we've decided who to give it to. Okay. Um, as for the scrolls, I don't think I need either of those. <clears throat> I don't believe I cast spells, except the ones I was born I've, with. I've seen Lambert cast Burning Hand, so he could use just an extra use of that. Maybe he's born with a... No, I had to learn <laughs> that. And Q, I saw just cast the thing that was on this scroll, so maybe you could use that as well. Fair logic. I guess I can... Who knows, that scroll. seems reasonable. 
What what was that other item that you picked? Oh, okay. There's the conch that uh, Sire was holding. Yeah. Um, do. Tell you what. Are we on the ship right now? Sure. I mean, there's nothing else here, right? So, yeah. Shouldn't we tell the people, hey, we killed... I've got it. I'll go. Gwydion's gonna get on the dinghy. Uh, We're all going. Follow? Yeah, I'm coming with. Uh, oh, you, all... you guys can go then, and I'll stay on the ship. We all killed those sleeping women. Gwydion, what are you up to? Just a demonstration. Don't worry. That worries me. I'll remain on the ship. What do you think is gonna happen? <laughs> I'm tempted to cast sleep on Gwydion. I'll wake up. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> I'll wake up. If I had sleep cast on me, I would just wake up. <laughs> I don't know how long it lasts. Wake up, nerd. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Anyway, you all have. What's your problem? All right. I mean, who who all is going on the dinghy? I would like I... to go back. What okay. Like pretend I'm going on the dinghy and then like slip my way under the ship silently so well, how, he what? they're gonna notice that the 300 pound man is not on the dinghy are they gonna <laughs> notice <laughs> no they can notice just one one of us specifically the blue haired I mean, I'm pretty oh, sure huh. I'm pretty sure that he would notice is he paying attention to the dinghy I, I am paying so paying hard his... attention yeah he obviously I know what he's doing, and it w he would be paying attention. Yeah. I, I'm just gonna kind of chill on the sh I'm just watching him. I'm not going on the dinghy. I'm just, like, That's fucking creepy. Him. That's fine. That's fine. He's not gonna fine. make you. So Q goes on the dinghy. By himself. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> else is watching. I'll <laughs> go with him. I'll go with what him. What are you talking about? I said I went on the dinghy. <laughs> Okay. Gwydion's <laughs> just like, I don't know any about it. We're all like, uh, excuse and me. And Lambert, <laughs> go on the dinghy, <clears throat> and you're you're sailing, you're sailing across, uh, back to the shore. Yeah. Uh, keep in mind the range of each of these hexes. Yeah. So like, no, by no, the time no, they no, get listen. to here, once they get once they get a mile out, like about a mile out, and I can still see them. I talk, speak into the. Hey, this is what it does. <laughs> Wait, you can hear him perfectly. This is what the conch does. <laughs> what the this fuck? is probably how the sirens did their thing. That's totally how they did the thing. That doesn't work both ways, does it? What? Who's speaking to me? <laughs> That's Gwydion. That's what the conch does. It really lets him project cool. his voice for over a mile, apparently. Hello, this is the voice of God coming in. Uh, one, two, testing. Well, I don't have no hope to actually hit him. I'm going to throw a firebolt at him. Why does that <laughs> sound like he's from Maryland? Uh, I need you to, uh, real quick, just one small favor for me. I need you to get out of the dinghy, uh, walk in the ocean, stay there until you drown. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. If that's what my god wishes, it's unusual. <laughs> I, tack I tackle with terror. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me an athletics or acrobatics check again. <laughs> Come on. Fuck. <laughs> so close. Like you, you go to tackle him, and he just like doesn't budge. <laughs> Leora, are you giving me a hug? <laughs> you haven't done that recently. Oh, I <laughs> keep you from jumping into the ocean. But my God commanded me. That's not that's your God. Not, that's not God. That's Squiddy. Squiddy and being an ass. Don't actually jump in the ocean, by the way. This is just me speaking through the conch. It can transmit up to a mile. I channel my inner Talon and give him the bird from <laughs> 600 meters away. Captain Woody and Blue Eyes coming in from a mile away. We go Emperor inform the bloody village that the siren problems have been taken care of. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, they, they are very grateful. <laughs> Um, the old man does approach you as you, you arrive, um, and he writes down, there are some on the island who wish to leave. Oh, we should bring him. How many? Um, 
Uh, right now, there are five. Uh, one of which is a pregnant woman. Oh. Mm. Mm. Um, the old man continues to write, Most of us have made a life here. But it would be nice to rejoin with society. Um, if there's any way that you can um, help promote trade, make maps. Um, we'd be grateful. That's our job. That's our whole job. Of That's course, your you're. Your fellow. I'm pretty sure that's not how he reads your voice. No, I'm gonna put like accents and stuff on it. <laughs> accents. Oh. Oh. It's in Mayor's script. Um, all right, fine. Well, of course we would be able to help with any of the town folks, towns folk that would like to leave, um, and we'd be happy to establish trade routes. <laughs> with the uh, rest of the civilized world. <laughs> uh, thank you all very much. I hate this. It's really good. <clears throat> um, thank you so much for what you've done here. Uh, it it's n not much, but we would like you to have this. And the old man reaches into his pocket and pulls out a um, a small little um, crap. What's it called? Ah, uh, yeah, I know those scroll tube. Crap, what's it called? A, a sextant. Sorry. Oh, a sextant. 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 It's yeah. like a compass pinpoint thingy. Navigational oh, okay. tool. Yeah. Uh, now it's they're automated. It, it looks very <laughs> um, finely crafted and made, uh, it, it, or at least um, gilded. Now it looks like it's gold. Hmm. Um, I'll tell him thank you. And it's always a pleasure to help people in need. This gives you a little bow. So I guess we shuttle the five people to the boat? Might as well, I mean... Yeah. And once right. you get back in, once you get within a mile of the boat, you hear the... Hello, just checking in, seeing how everyone's doing today. You're listening to. It's, it's not that complicated of a sex <laughs> story, but I appreciate what you've done here. Squidian Illusion. Ah, uh, yes, Squidian. If you can bring the ship closer to us, then we'll have to row less. I <laughs> cannot do that. I don't know how to pilot it. <laughs> now that I, I don't know you. how to. I, I have. I. I'm on. Who? I. Can you find Lucian then? Who, for the love of Bahamut, gave him the conch? Friendly reminder: this <laughs> is one, exist. one way. Who's our main deity? <laughs> I mean, it depends. What are you trying to worship? The like top god. Like the forge. There is no top guy. Yeah, it's the forge. He makes it's top gear. Who's the god of wisdom? It's, it's mythos. He the created men and wisdom? women. And I mean, it depends really on what you're talking about, because like, I mean, do you mean just pr probably like... If I was going to use the name of a god and a curse, who would I use? Like, saying Jesus Christ. Probably like, the lady. In the name of the okay. storm! By the lady who gave him the conch shell. Crom! <laughs> Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway. <laughs> anyway, 
you, you get back to the Sunrise Ostinato um, and head off to see once more. Um, <coughs> go ahead and, and trace your path back real quick. Uh, yes, sir. Are we just going straight? Uh, On yeah, the way gonna... back, there's two things that Autail Roa would like to do. Oh, God. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. One of which I... is to make sure the pregnant woman is very comfortable and has whatever she needs. Uh, she is very appreciative of this. Uh, I mean, uh, her name uh, is uh, Starshine. They all have to have... They don't have very... They're all very literal names because they don't actually have any way of signing like Tabaxi, <laughs> a normal person's name. No, she is she is a human. But that shines. Her name. Uh, and then I also want to make the Beeple's elbow. Beeple's elbow. Okay, make me a tinker's tools check. So Fuck yeah. <laughs> the idea is a um, kind of like um, an elbow guard and it'll have a syringe in it of sorts and on the inside of it there'll be like a pouch that you could put poison in so as it contacts something it squirts the poison out of the thing uh, you what? said tinkers? <laughs> yeah hey rings okay yeah, uh... Really yeah, so... Fucking people's elbow. By the time you, uh... <laughs> you get back to... Uh, port, you are able to make the people's elbow. And it, it does basically what you would expect. Um, it, um... Is just a normal sort of... I guess it would technically be... It's an exotic weapon, but because Lucian is kind of proficient in arm, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat like that, at least, um, I mean, he can definitely use it without any problem. It will do piercing damage as opposed to bludgeoning, okay. um, but otherwise, it would pretty much do the exact same as your amount of damage. For a normal person, it would probably do about one d four. Okay, and then included whatever poisons in the thing. Yeah, and and that just that's that's an that'll depend you know that that'll depend on the poison itself. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and I'm, I think I imagine he works closely with Lucian to make sure the fits right. And yeah, yeah. Uh, Lucian, it is a very finely, you know, finely crafted tool. It is. It does exactly what you would have hoped. Um, now, before we go, I, I I do want to do one more thing. Um, Painting, but yes, continue. So you know, you you guys unload your uh, unload your ship. Um, I you know I assume that you sell all of the yes the gems and um, you already split up the gold that you are splitting up. Um, so what all are we what all, what all are we selling? Is this 450 worth of gems and anything else? Yeah. I can't think of anything else to sell. Unless you guys want to sell the scrolls in case you feel like you're never going to use them. No, I kind of like having That's burning hands time. on spare. That's fair. <laughs> Just remember that scrolls have their own separate DCs and stuff. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um... If that's if that is all that we're selling for right now, um, you guys get off of the uh, get off the ship, go into the um, the tavern of the guild hall. Oh god, our arrivals there. Uh, no, <laughs> okay, good. Uh, they are in fact already gone. Good. Um. So when you all arrive back to port, uh, you begin the process of unloading your cargo. Uh, on the docks themselves, aha, see, this is what I wanted to do. Um, you see a man wearing a breastplate approach your ship. Uh oh The breastplate has an Inquisition insignia on it. Oh, fuck. Uh, in fact, you actually recognize the man as the one who was arguing with Cassius a few weeks past. The racist. 
Hail, guildsman. By order of the Emperor, with permission of, from your guildmaster, all members of the cartography guild to dock may be subject to <clears throat> random testing. Um, really? Should we go ask him about that? Testing for what? Is this going to be some sort of mathematics problem? <laughs> no, this is going to see if we're bloody changelings. I'm quite good at tests, so sure, I'll go first. Uh, it's random testings, but s since you volunteered. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. Come on. Everyone just stares at Gwitty. <laughs> he just kind of looks at you suspiciously. Um, takes you to the side. Um, Tyler, if you would join me in a private call real quick. Okay. That's terrifying. Do you want to go to, like, the non-play channel or something, or just an actual private call? Yeah, yeah, non-play channel works just fine. Guys, do you think he's actually... Oh. I highly <laughs> doubt he has. <laughs> you, guys, you guys actually think he's a changeling? Uh, no way. It'd be no. hilarious if he was, but no, I doubt he actually is. At <laughs> the very least, the I know for a fact this motherfucker doesn't have any authority over us. I guess we can't dock here anymore. What are you talking about? He's our captain. I don't know, the Inquisitor. Hmm. Oh, I That's... got permission from your guildmaster, Cassius, who totally didn't tell me to screw myself the other day. What do you comes out about and... Him, uh, Gwydion comes out and his hands has been singed. It's got like a circular <laughs> indentation on it. All that. <laughs> so I'll take you past the test then. Flying colors. Do you need healing, Gwydion? Does this man harm you? I, I think he's joking. I was, <laughs> I, was gonna do, I was trying to do minor illusion. Okay, in that case but, then... But I would drop it after a second. Like, that was fine, just, uh, just messing with you. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually surprised they didn't actually burn you, frankly. Being Not a changeling. I'm just an archist, which I think is acceptable around here. That's Are awesome. we all being taken away? No. That's not something you should joke about, Gwydion. Is the Inquisitor still here? Uh, he didn't go... I mean, you guys were walking along, and he... I mean, he's still on the docks. What do you mean? He was wondering if the Inquisitor was, like, stopping us. No, 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 no. You guys were walking past. Like, you guys went along. Right, it's a okay. random test. It's not not yeah. everyone gets tested. It's just whoever he feels is suspicious. It's like the random so path down at TSA. Path, that's yeah. mostly for people of color for some odd reason. Basically. I, I, first yeah. of all, I assume I like, would have painted the map while we were sailing. Yeah. So uh, I'm just gonna... Yeah, go ahead and make that check for me real quick. Uh, we'll get yeah. into how... I mean, it's a, it's just a good map, by the way. You guys did really good. Um, <laughs> whenever, you, whenever you guys, oh, you see Bertrand hammering in a few pieces of paper up against a new piece of wood on the side of the wall over here. Uh, yeah. He's just he's he's hammering just a few pieces of paper to it. Yeah. What about? All these papers. Are these the test answers? That's not <laughs> how that works. How did we do? <laughs> well, only one of us took a test. Apparently. You're, you're like a senile old man. <laughs> you're all fucking. Well, you are. You should have some respect for your elders. <laughs> this is Nathan. <laughs> I would like to talk to Cassius as soon as possible. Leora would never. Okay. I mean, we'll 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 deal with Cassius later. Uh, if no one talks to Bertrand, he just kind of walks back after hammering in the pieces of paper. But for those curious... Yes, I am. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Always. <clears throat> there are three pieces of paper. A quest board. Oh there's my a... god. We're gonna... If we do all the side quests, then we're gonna overlevel oh, ourselves. Lord, so much. Oh, there's art. The wizard Ooh. sleeve. Oh, that's a brothel. Okay. Magic prostitutes. The wizard sleeve. All right. <laughs> well, what about you? But uh, uh, while we're here, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, uh, uh I'll, wizard sleeve. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what happened. Um, <laughs> Kyle becomes a vampire. 
I don't um, know what so... you're talking about. My accent just changed. It was just a moment at the brothel. What are you talking about? There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> He's a vampire. <laughs> Uh, you can take a minute to read these or not, whatever. They will be in your, uh, journals regardless. Um, these, this is basically, you know, it's, it's a notice board. Uh, you might, you know, see, uh, requests for help or just, you know, means of adventure or just recent news from the Esther Isles, um, perhaps things you've done or things that just have happened while you were away. Uh, and sometimes you just get little things, like this little ad that I made. Right, yeah. The wizard's way. Wizard's sleep, my bad. Ooh, I want to check this. Let me just, yeah, let me Yeah, that sculptor on one has my attention. The fuck is that nonsense? Do we nonsense? have those handouts now? It yeah. sounds like a druid yeah, sculptor, sculptor has a lot of attention. Yeah, this, I, I, uh, what are you talking about this guy earlier? A guy who's doing, like, death murders that are like artistic in nature yeah that serial killer is all hell for a druid yes i mean i literally say druid because i can't imagine any other freaking thing in D D at all that would sit there and cut some poor halfling open and sprout yeah, fungi out of them what day is today by the way what it's... day of the month oh crap yeah it's been 11 days Tuesday. so 47 four, five six seven eight nine ten yep 47 okay Ooh, All the right. Inquisitor dust. Definitely want to look down to. Yeah, that was a vampire one we saved. Interesting and plenty of opportunity for another day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, so speaking of which, are we going to talk about, like, payment for this mission today or next week? Uh, Next week. Uh, okay. The payment that you got for selling the stuff is one thing. We'll get into map selling later because you'll have to talk to Cassius about that anyway. Right. Yeah. Um. So I figured we'll do more of that role play related stuff. Later, I did just want to give you the handouts because right. I have handouts, and I'll give you some things that you might want to do. I think you guys have already picked up uh, the wizard sleeve stuff. Gwydion, uh, yeah, a little not, bit. Gwydion is not. Gwydion was interested until he realized what it was. I wasn't uh, interested until really. I realized what it was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> know what Aotearoa thinks about it. Oh man, can Aotearoa still get it up? He's not like that old. But probably. Wait, what's going on? <laughs> oh, that way to find out. I mean, he doesn't know. It hasn't happened in a long time. I'm just saying. Hey, going to the brothel? Who, I'm about to say, whoever wants to join Lambert at the brothel in the future, you're welcome to join me at the brothel in the future. Yeah, I don't know. Because fuck it, I didn't abuse his talent because he's strange. Strange. I, strange <laughs> offer. I know. I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> Not, uh, Fuck it! I, Talon didn't Lambert. abuse it because Talon Lambert. had reasons why he wouldn't abuse it. But Lambert, but you're a witcher. Yeah, I'm a you're fucking a witcher. witcher. That's all. That's the only way I get laid is brothels. <laughs> that and creepy sorceresses that just like touching me. Well, just, that that one you should meet the hair. person who owns it. <laughs> I'm <laughs> worried I might. Just Speaking yeah, of that, I am too. Well, you're talking about fucking. I guess I'm going to talk about fucking with people. Hey, Michael, is there a point where I might be able to develop my own spells as we go on? Absolutely. <laughs> You're a wizard, dude. You can absolutely hey, learn spells. I'm so excited for that. Well, let me know when I... Maybe I'll start talking to someone okay. around here about that in the, for, in the future. Because so I can think of a spell that I want to make. I want to do that. <laughs> Unless... <laughs> Matthew's a wizard. Be, Unless... be a wizard the next campaign. I want to oh, do man. that too, but I did it last campaign, so I can't... It's fine. I get to make stuff like the Beeple's elbow. Beeple's elbow. Yeah, that does just exist now. You gotta get some poison uh, for it and just bam. Well, bam. we already have like a sack of poison from one of the wasps. We need this more is, poison. Yeah. This is like we also poison. have like, that yellow mold like, too. You know, it's like we one have hit some yellow like... molds. We have that <laughs> vile yeah, yellow mold. Put the mold, mold in there. Yes. <laughs> I don't it's think that's how that works. I don't think you can inject mold. What would just... happen if you injected, like, I don't know, 100 you... milliliters of mercury into someone? They'd they fucking die. Nothing good, they die. They would fucking die. <laughs> like, it's a metal, and I can just make metals out of gold. That's a thing. I believe that is 8,000 times the normal amount of mercury in someone's blood. Well, I mean, you know, it w you would die in the same way that taking an arrow to the heart would kill you in this game. 
Yeah. So Got extremely fast. Did we level up? Yeah. I was waiting for that question. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> I'll think of some fun things. You do not level up yet. I I'm appreciate the. Oh, I needed to identify the sextant, unless it wasn't magical. I don't know. Uh, it's not magical, but okay. it is very Sexy finely crafted. Okay. Cool. The sexy sextant. Right on. Well, I gotta go. This was All good right. time. This yeah. was a good time. Bye. And so I'm we're playing schedule tomorrow on Wednesday, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> sure. Why not? No, why not? No, absolutely not. I actually don't have anything prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I, will, I will not be able to participate in the post session hangout this week because oh, I am playing three houses. It's not anything important. It's just something I want to oh, do. Three houses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's not important. It's just more important than you. Are, yeah. Are we still playing? The, are we still planning the concert with the? I'm not trying to sound like a boomer, but with the coronavirus going on, is it a good idea yeah. to have the concert? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's fine. Next month in September. Where is it? Wait, uh, it's in oh, I, thought, I thought it was April. No, it's in oh. September. No, no, no it's oh. September. Oh, you're oh, fine. Oh, yeah, I mean, oh, the world will either end or be fine by then. Yeah. yeah. Right. All right. Never mind. I'll catch you all later. Well, well goodbye, bye. everyone, especially Dennis. Goodbye. We'll miss you. <laughs> What's <laughs> happening to me? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh God, the freaking chuckle nuts I play this game with. Sweet Lord. Anyway, guys, that's it for the Esther Isles Cartography Guild this week. And as usual, I hope you all enjoyed. And if you all did enjoy, a great way of showing that support is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, sharing it with your friends. And, you know, just tuning in next week for what happens next. Or check out all my other D&D stuff. I got Curse of Strahd, I got an entire Dragon Heist module, where I'm a smart mouth little goblin. There's Avarice, which was two years. Sweet Lord. I got a lot of D&D stuff. This is your interest. Anyway. Once again, thank you all for watching. And as usual, cheers to those that love us, the losers that lost us, and as always, lucky sons of bitches that get to meet us. And we'll catch you all in the next video.